Hi everyone. Time for another train video. Hopefully with the weather outside getting cooler and me being indoors more, hopefully I'll be able to share more of my trains with you. It'll be some more battery operated, either vintage ones from the uh, 60s or earlier, uh, some newer battery ones, and uh, some of my other ones, my electric ones. Some, since I'm in America, are actually ones that a lot of people in the U.S. haven't seen or haven't seen much of. Uh, some of them folks here really didn't know existed. And I just love things, trains from Europe, obscure makers, and uh, because it shows the imagination and the inventiveness that different makers had. Now, as far as this one goes, uh, somebody on YouTube that I subscribe to and watch his videos, Mark Filcher, uh, got the idea to look for these from him. And he was saying in one of his uh, videos, the first trains he received were by Playcraft. And uh, Playcraft was marketed that name in the UK was made by a French company named Jouef, and uh, they're a pretty good maker of French trains. Um, I have an Orient Express, which I'm with the movie coming out this coming weekend in the U.S. I'm going to shoot another video of that set that I have, which is by Jouef, but marketed in the U.S. by Bachmann. Anyway, um, Mark had a video highlighting some of his playcraft, and it really got me interested in looking for some of it. And I uh, found this one from a seller in the UK, uh, bought it on eBay. And uh, some of you are looking at no playcraft, looking at the box lid, and uh, thinking you know what's inside, but I think the lid was switched with another one. Uh, and also a lot of things people mention sets like this and they talk about the artwork on the outside and then what's inside being disappointing because it's a realistic scene on the outside. I love artwork like this because it stirs the imagination. Whatever's inside it really gets the child who gets this. It gets their imagination going thinking whatever's inside is going to be a crack express train or a goods train working the branch line in some uh, village somewhere, you know, with the rolling green fields and everything. And it gets the imagination going. I love that. Anyway, to this set, uh, Playcraft Railways, the box is marked for the Clapham goods train. And you can see part of the Clapham goods train on here, the diesel shunner. And then also inside will be the um, goods van and the open wagon with a guards van. And uh, also in the box artwork, there's the Class 29 diesel, I think was in the uh, their passenger set, I think called Houston, I'm not sure. There's also the night ferry set pictured on there and some others. Anyway, uh, we're going to take a look inside the box in a second. And I'll show you why the box lid has actually been switched. Okay, and uh, before I take the box lid away, you'll see the silhouette on there of the Clapham goods train. Diesel shunner open uh, wagon, goods van, guards van. And it has made in France exclusively for Playcraft Toys Limited London. So we'll take a look inside, and uh, actually it's in gorgeous condition. Let's get these out. And uh, it's readable um, if you want to pause it and read them. Uh, this is how to get the best performance from your Playcraft Railway. And I love this because right now the lucky child who opened this, uh, right now he or she is got their own railway just within this box. You know, they can just start out right away. Uh, one of the things that I was interested in here, I'm not going to attempt it, but um, talking about cleaning off the dirty track 
and the cleaning the locomotive wheels and the wheels overall with 3-in-1 oil and uh, you know a spot little drop of it and then wipe the track I'm not going to try that here's also a ad sheet for the E1 short circuit proof power unit this is for AC main supply so it would go in and then um, feed out to DC it says it's better than batteries and you can also operate any motorized appliance where current consumption and voltage specifications fall within the rated output and here is the set now for those of you that know Playcraft the Clapham goods train came with a diesel shunner so this set is the Broad Street goods train which I'm perfectly fine with because I love the steam locomotives. Let's pull this in closer. And the goods wagons are in gorgeous condition. Still have gloss on them. The goods van has doors that open and close. It's a locomotive and you can see the brass gear. The open wagon. The locomotive the person I bought it from on eBay, fantastic seller, he tested this before sending it out. He was going to give it a cleaning and service. And the original chassis, there was something wrong with the motor and gearing. And he went ahead, found another Playcraft 040, and switched out the chassis for me. Sent me the original too, so I guess I could use any of the gearing or whatever I need if, if I need parts. This looks like the previous owner had also done some painting. They painted it in matte black so it's not as glossy. Added decals, including the BR crest. Painted gold the some of the um, piping coming down from the domes. Uh, brushed the little builder's plaque on the tender section on the back. Gold, clip number 101. Painted the buffer beams and the small lights. And these have the Pico type couplers. And I will take this open wagon out. It's absolutely gorgeous condition. Couplers have no sign of rust. They're a little dusty, but the inside's a little dusty. But it's absolutely gorgeous. And the track is in gorgeous condition. It doesn't look like it was run on at all or worn very much. So um, I have a small loop of track set up um, because I wasn't sure with the flanges on these wheels if it was going to get stuck in the switches on my layout. So let's uh, go over to the small loop of track and we'll give it a try. Okay. We have the locomotive on the loop of track. Just a simple loop of Bachman easy track. And then to run it, I'm just using the simple Bachman controller that comes with their basic sets. It's actually a really good controller. Um, so this is the first run for this set. Um, so let's see what we can do. Let's give it a little tap. There we go. It's come to life. Give it a little more juice. Okay, let's bring it in. Let's see how we can do Not bad for slow speed. Slow it down here so we can do it.
That's not bad at all. Now let's try reverse. Give it a tap. Very nice. Okay. Um, give it some forward. All right. Now I'll put the goods wagons on and let's get some goods moving around. Okay. So we're all set to go. Have a handsome set of goods wagons here, and the goods van has sliding doors, so you can put whatever cargo inside. So you have the goods van, open wagon, and a guards van. And uh, you know, I know Joef made these, and they're of a French mold. In fact, can't really zoom in that well. But I think somewhere on the goods van you can see SNCF. But for me, it's the imagination of it. It's enjoying it, having fun with trains. But I love these trains that are kind of out of place and um, they're done some little way here or there to try and fit in with the market they're selling them for. And it kind of helps the imagination. For me, I just love those kind of international anomalies, if you will. Anyway, speaking of having fun, let's give this some juice and see what we have. Let's see how we can do with some slower speed with her. Oh, that's very nice. Wow. For a low end train, something that I read was targeted more to sell at Woolworths in the UK to uh, kind of take the low end market, that's actually really nice. The motor actually sounds quieter than some more expensive trains I've gotten, believe it or not. This is very, very nice indeed. Okay, there you have it. And uh, the Playcraft... Broad Street Goods Train, and uh, actually I'm sold. I'm going to have to start looking for more playcraft, either some more locomotives like this 040, or if I could find the diesel shunter, and uh, going to have to get some passenger cars as well, the uh, British Outline style. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, short video, and I'll be posting more soon. Thanks.